Good morning. This is Frank Biggs, aka Moana Bubba. Uh, this morning I was hunting out of my tree stand, got here uh, you know, around 5.30, waiting it out. No movement. Later when I check the trail cams, there's only been like five videos done. It's like the game just hasn't been moving through here, so I said, okay. Now, Frank, you gotta get out of the tree stand, do your old style of stalking and sneaking. So I came down this trail, which is behind the tree stand. I'm probably about 300 yards from there at this point, and uh, coming around the backside of Michael property. And uh, you know, a lot of this has been cleared. My son had come in here with a bulldozer and tried to clean out Scotch broom. But anyway, I'm walking down this trail down here as I come up, and it comes into an opening or will. And down off the left is a, a path that cuts across a dried creek. I've always tried to dam it up to make a creek, but I come to right about, right about here. And lo and behold, there's a doe standing there, so I just kind of back off. And I saw a fawn come up. So I said, I'm going to range find it out to, uh, out to there. And I go, that's 48 yards. Okay, very good. Maybe something's going to happen. So... Lo and behold, out steps a buck. I can see he's fairly tall, and I go, you know, I got an RV show coming up here, you know, the Portland Metro RV show for uh, September. I'm not going to have time to bow hunt. And, uh, you know, they become nocturnal, these blacktails, so he out steps a buck. And I go, okay, it's 50 yards, put the 40 yard pin on the top of his back, let it rip, and uh, whack him good. He actually went down in his tracks. I wish I'd had the video camera attached to the bow, but, uh, you know, got impatient with this, uh, hooking it up this morning. So anyway, he went straight down. I was using a new broadhead. Son had given me some, I think it's called Slick Trick, 100 grain uh, magnum. And I'm telling you, it stoned him right there, but then he did get back up. And he's gone off the trail. I did see there's a heavy blood trail, so I figured I'd let him set. Made a call to Frank Jr. and says, uh, you know, come on out here and give me a hand and let's get this done before I have to go to work today. Anyway, thought I'd share this with you and we'll see what happens when I get up here. As you can see, there's good blood there. But even gets better through here. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's bleeding real good. I hit him back a little bit. All those things. And of course I left my bow here, which is a uh, 2012 Martin Onza 3. And I got the uh, Neon Fusion Pink Fletch arrows, or veins rather, excuse me. Anyway, this bow delivers. It's fast, it's smooth. The arrow was there before he reacted. I love it. So I know he cut down this path over here. So I'm gonna go, while I'm waiting for Frankie to show up, I'm gonna go down here and recover him. Yeah, this blood trail is really heavy. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, there he is. I'll be dogged. There he is. I told you I hit him back a little bit. I didn't pass through, but it looks like it hit him. Maybe it hit the feeble artery, but kill is a kill. Anyway, get him out of there and He's one of the bucks that have caught on trail cam before. Uh, this is a black deer uh, here in the Willamette Valley. Pretty close to Canby in Oregon City. Probably not the buck I wanted. Could have spotted some bigger ones, but you know, uh, using the tree stands, which I've never done before, and the ground blinds and stuff, <coughs> you know, that's a little more difficult. You know, when you do set a tree stand up, you should set it up the way you shoot. 
being left-handed, tree stand was set up for right-hander, but, uh, and I made some mistakes out there, and, but anyway, so this morning I decided to get up and, uh, out of the tree stand, and, uh, I walked over to one of the other tree stands that, uh, Mark has here on the far side of the property, and nothing's in the fields or anything, you know, it's about, uh, I don't know, 7 o'clock or something like that, 7.15, and, uh, so I decided to go behind the, our tree stand here and follow the path down to the creek that's dried up now. I think the deer have changed their habits. There's not very much water out there. So uh, anyway, I come down the trail and I spot a doe and I duck back in and you know, she's waiting for yearlings or fawns to come out and uh, so I range find a bush to her uh, left side to lead down to the draw down to the crossing at the uh, dried up creek. And uh, anyway, lo and behold, out steps a buck, and I go, I can see horns, and I go, you know, it's late, I got a trade short to do, I got to get this done, and uh, I can wait till later, but, uh, you know, anxieties, I guess. Um, so I put the 40 yard pin on his back, it's probably about 52 yards or thereabouts, and, you know, a little excited, and I let it rip and uh, smack him back a bit uh, towards the rear hip, such as life. And he goes down just like a hard to the ground. I couldn't believe it. And I thought, boy, he's stone dead. So he does get back up and uh, hobbles off and uh, lays down about 100 yards away. And it looks like he was dead when he laid down. But uh, good blood trail. And uh, I'm real happy with it. Um, you know, I used my Onza 3 uh, bow that I got this last year from Martin Archery. I've known Terry a few years. Uh, more than a few, I guess one would say. And uh, he's always been uh, good to me. I've shot his bows for 20 years. So, uh, and uh, I got the Norway uh, uh, Xeon Fusion veins. I can see them fly. I actually saw that arrow going through the, I should have had a video, it would have been great. And my son had given me some new broadheads. Uh, I had to use uh, Thunderhead before, but this is a uh, slick trick, 100 grain, four blade. Shoots kind of like a uh, target tip. I go, I'll try that. Yeah, even though I hadn't practiced with it, and it flew straight and easy. I mean, it was great. So I will tell you, uh, my bow, uh, you know, when I got it, of course, didn't have anything on it. And I'm kind of old technology using uh, products from uh, from the past. A uh, good friend, Mel Stanislavski, was a, a bow uh, parts manufacturer in that. He's actually one who dialed me into Terry Martin years ago. And, uh, you know, I still use his release, uh, great release. And I'd use his bow sights and stuff, but I wanted to set the bow up with a little more modern technology. You know, I had used the Stanislavski, it's still on my other bows, Stanislavski, superb rest, you know. But anyway, so I went to, walked into Cabela's one day and I met a real nice guy down there named, named Matt Killmaster. Quite a bowsman himself, and uh, we've drawn a friendship. And, you know, he, I asked him what he thought I should use, uh, you know because I still had old stuff that was more than 10 or 12 years old. And uh, he said, I'll try the whisker biscuit, because I, I, I didn't want anything attached to the bow with the strings and that. And then I picked out a sight that would work on a left-handed bow. And uh, he set it up, no charge, and right out the get-go, it just the accuracy was great. His setup was perfect. So anyway, Matt Killmaster down at uh, Cabela's in Springfield. Good man. I get emails from him. I think he's out antelope hunting in, uh, uh, with a bow in the east side of the state. He's a nice enough guy. Uh, he even allows me to uh, access to his uncle's property over in Eastern Oregon if I ever had time. But anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do here pretty soon, I'm waiting for my son, uh, Frank Jr. to show up and uh, hopefully I'm gonna show everybody how to do a Hawaiian cut real quick on a deer to field dress them instead of, I'm not a person that likes a gut. Um, I can get all the quarters out and all the valuable meat, backstrap, tenderloin and everything. And uh, it's much faster, and uh, unless the, uh, I'd learned that in Hawaii, though. I was on an axis deer hunt when I was back in the Navy, and I was getting ready to get, you know, I wanted to get my own axis deer, and the Hawaiians there, they go, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me show you how to do it properly, son. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. But anyway, uh, Frank will be here in a few minutes, and we'll get on to this. And uh, I didn't show the other side. I thought I'd keep it clean, but... I did hit him up in here, so it looks like I tapped the feeble artery, and uh, the arrow did go in that far, so 
you know, it did its job. I'm happy with it. it must hit the bone on. Well, it didn't anyway. It didn't pass all the way through, but uh, I'm satisfied with the shot. And uh, anyway, good hunt here in the Willamette Valley. This is Sunday, I believe it's uh, September 9th, 2012. And when I get done here, I got to go to work. Anyway, thank you for listening, and uh, catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.